Hey guys, it's Kelly and today we are learning how to draw some freehand snowflakes and trust me, it is so much easier than you think. It doesn't require a steady hand at all. Believe me, I don't have a steady hand either, but we are going to learn how to do it super easily. This manicure in particular was actually inspired by Peachy Polish. I will put all of her information down in the description so you can check her out as well, but she did this manicure a couple of years ago and I was in love with it and I figured I would just recreate it so I can teach you guys how to do some snowflakes. So let's get started. So for this manicure, I am using my Rejuva coat as my base coat. Then I'm going to be using Zoya Dream, which is this gorgeous scattered holographic polish. Kind of looks like snowflakes. OPI Alpine Snow. Oh my god, so many snow jokes already. Cuccio 7 second top coat. And of course you're going to need a small brush. I usually just use a paintbrush that I get from like a craft store, but you can use whatever you have on hand. So first I'm going to show you how to do a full snowflake. So obviously I'm going to start off with my nail polish color. I already had my base coat on. I don't know why I haven't been filming it. So what you're going to want to do is start by drawing a straight line all the way down the middle of your nail. Now we are going to just make that into a big old plus sign and that is it for your snowflake. Just kidding. We're going to do more. So the next thing you want to do is draw a smaller X right over your plus sign. The easier way to do that, which is what I do, is I will just draw a small line in the middle of each right angle. Now that we have the base of our snowflake, we're going to start adding some details. So on the plus sign lines, I am going to add two small little branches also facing upward. You can start to see it's starting to look like a snowflake. But anyway, the whole way to make this super easy is just work with really little lines and that is going to be your best friend because you don't need a steady hand for that. The lines don't need to show up perfect. I mean, look at mine. They're totally not perfect, but as a whole, they look really cool. And then the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to add some little V shapes to the end of the X shape. Am I making sense? I mean, you guys have a visual, so hopefully that helps. <laughs> And literally that is all you need to learn how to make a snowflake. And now I'm just going to show you a super fun variation. Oh, before I do that, I should add my top coat. You want to wait for your design to dry completely before you add your top coat. But anyway, now I can show you the partial snowflakes, which is basically the same premise. And that's what I'm going to do on my other nails. I'm just going to have like a portion of the snowflake and then I'm going to add some little dots to make it fun. And also so I can copy Peachy Polish's beautiful manicure. Again, starting off with my base color and then I'm going to draw now on the edge of the nail, I'm going to draw my plus sign. So I'm starting off with that straight line and man, that one came out so much better than my first line. And now I'm going to draw the plus of the plus sign. And now, so you can see, I'm literally doing the same exact thing, but I am only working with a portion of the nail. So I don't have to do some of the steps on the bottom angles of my snowflake. I'm just going to do it on the top here. So one little extra thing that I'm going to do is I am adding these to the plus sign part of this just so I can add a little bit more detail. And then I'm also going to do that with the smaller sides, again, adding those little V shapes in the middle. I feel like this, this verbally doesn't make much sense, but I'm looking at it and I'm trying to explain what I see. So that's what we're going with here. But yeah, look at that. It's super easy, isn't it? And everybody's going to think it's super hard, which is the coolest part of doing nail art is everybody always thinks that like the design takes so much effort, but it's actually super easy. And that's why I love doing it. So now I'm just taking a dotting tool. This part is obviously optional. And the cool thing with this polish is that it already kind of looks like falling snow and it's got so much dimension to it. But yeah, so I'm just adding some random dots in random spots. That rhymes. I didn't mean for it to. And that's it. That's all you got to do. So of course you want to wait for your design to dry before you add your top coat. A few of you have been asking me for some tips on how to keep your design from smearing. So if you guys want that to be a nail polish 101 video, let me know in the comments. But yeah, literally that is it. You can see if you look really closely, you can see that my lines totally aren't perfect, but from afar, it seems like an awesome snowflake manicure. But yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, make sure you subscribe and I'll talk to you later. Bye.